what's up guys this is the IT Ranger and today we'll be making our 11th well 12th Java tutorial and in my last tutorial we talked about making uh, a weekly pay calculator and what we kind of did is we went back and put everything in my past tutorials together into one big program just to you know just to test our skills and everything we learned so far so um, if, if this is your first tutorial you may want to go back and watch um, from the first to now just to kind of catch up on things and you know it's a lot of things we cover in my past tutorials so yeah just do that but today I want to talk to you guys about something very very important in programming and in just Java or C++ whatever you're doing just programming period and anytime you're doing any type of program you probably will need this this uh, class and today we're going to be talking about a class called the random generator class and this class is it's basically it returns numbers or integers or doubles or strings whatever you're using at a random uh, pre-designed interval basically a pre-designed interval is to say hey um, my pre-designed interval is going to be a hundred and I want it to be any number between a hundred and zero and that's what a pre-designed integer it uh, interval is so and you know the random class generator is used in uh, a, a lot of programs is used to simulate events um, such as like a coin flip like if you was making a football game or something like that and you had a flip or just a, fl a coin flip game and you just wanted to toss the coin up in the air basically you would need a random generator and that will determine which side would it be heads or tails so and it's the same thing for other programs like if I was making a program for a bank and or a bank game or something like that and I wanted to make a program that uh, it'd be a random number of customers coming in the bank or something like that. That's just kind of a uh, heads up on what a random generator is. So uh, it's very important. So but what we're going to do is right now we're going to actually practice on a program and learn how to actually use a random generator in a basic program right now. So let's go ahead and do a file new. Let's make a new Java project and let's call this random gen well generator let's just finish it out all right so random generator and we're gonna make a class and we're gonna call our, our class let's call our class we're gonna call our class a random number that's gonna be our class name so let's go ahead and check public study void and as usual uncheck inherited abstract method and finish okay so um, now we have our bare bare bone uh, program right here as we always do and the first thing we want to do is um, just like if we're using a scanner or anything like that we need to import the random class and to do that you would need to do import java dot util and random and this basically imports the the random class and the random class is located inside of the Java util package it's located inside the same package as the scanner and you know other things like that so and just like we do in our last programs for a scanner we kind of want to do the same thing for a random and for random it's going to be random and we're just going to call it generator equals and then like in um, say for instance like your scanner your scanner when we implement a scanner for the random you can name the random anything you want so instead of putting generator you could put a uh, random uh, number or random uh, high five or whatever you're doing just it could be anything so and then we're going to do new random all right so what we just did is we imported our random class and we just brought our class into well, we just inflated it into our program or brought it into our program. So, and this program is going to be very basic. And I just want to get you guys uh, get your juices flowing on the random class before we get into the real meat of things. And so, right now, we need to actually make we're going to make a, a program that actually tells the user a random number. Um, yeah, it's just going to tell the user a random number, and we're actually going to ask. The user for input and well nah I make it easy this time we're just gonna make a random class and make it a random number print out to the user 
So let's do system dot out dot print line and a print line and inside these parentheses is going to be a little different. Um, what we need to do is we need to call our generator, what we named our random. We need to call our generator into the print statement. And to do that, we need to do generator dot and it's going to be next int because we want to deal with integers here. And inside these parentheses, and basically the net generator dot next int. So we call the generator, which is the name of our random class, and we told it to return the next integer of the number that's inside of these parentheses right here. So inside of these parentheses, we're gonna put a uh, hundred. Let's put a thousand. And so we put a thousand here, and basically we told it to that we told the random generator to display the next integer between 1000 and zero and let's end it so let's go ahead and run this program and let's show you guys how it works so um let's go ahead and run all right so there's our first random number is 870 and let's match run again see what our next number will be if it works and there we go 576 and 353 179 56, uh, 80, 37, uh, 167, 40, 556. And you see there, you see all the input, all the users, or as you see there, all the displays of random numbers um, from our generator between 1,000 and zero. So if you keep going, it'll keep uh, keep going forever until you reach every number and it starts over, <laughs> which probably would never happen. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. So basically, we just learned about a random generator. And trust me, guys, this is very important in the future, in our future programming. This will be very important. So that's why I decided, you know, to make a, a small tutorial just on random generator. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy everything. And this is the IT Ranger. Don't forget to subscribe and leave comments or feedback. All right, catch you guys next time.